Today is Science Project Day. I'm curious to see what Dilton brings to school. So am I. Uh, here he comes now. Caramba! What's that, Dilton? Uh, it's my Winter Wonder Precipitation Probe, or as some might call it, my Snowmaker. How does that make snow? Well, I fire this rocket into the clouds. It's programmed to seek out moisture, and when it finds it, it sends out a snowmaking ray, which turns the moisture to snow. Here, I'll show you. You see that puddle left by last night's rain? If one of you will press the three white buttons, uh, but don't press the red button. Chihuahua, it's real snow. Uh, I must go in now. This apparatus is getting heavy. Here, Delton, let me give you a hand. Watch out for... We've got to get it. Now, for my usual wake-up swim. Ah! Ooh, he woke up all right. The snowstorm is over! Not yet it isn't. The whole world is white. I must say, you don't look alert this morning, Coach. I stayed up late to watch a movie in the big snowball that ate Minneapolis. <laughs> you don't believe that nonsense, do you? Who, me? No, oh, I'll, uh, it, it'd take somebody really dumb to... It's here! It's gonna eat Riverdale! The snowballs are coming! The snowballs are coming! Hit your brake, Reggie! <sighs> Good thing you missed me, young man! All right, young man, it's five o'clock. I guess you've learned your lesson. You may go home for the weekend. Hi, Reggie. I stayed late to help decorate for the dance tonight. Why did you stay? Oh, Grundy made me write, I will not throw snowballs 5,000 times, and I was innocent. Miss Grundy, Reggie, don't lose respect for another human being just because you're angry with them. Huh, she's no human being. She never was. She's just old and always has been. She doesn't care that I was innocent. That's terrible. Just because Miss Grundy's older than we are, Reggie thinks she's some kind of ogre. Oh, don't tell me you had to stay after school, Sabrina. Oh, no, Miss Grundy. I stayed to help decorate for the dance tonight. Oh, I enjoyed doing that, too, when I was your age. Oh, how I love to dance. I wonder if I dare. Why not? Magic forces whirl and swirl. Turn Miss Grundy into a girl. Oh, when I made her her teenage self, I forgot about the styles. Oh, uh, Miss Grundy, call me Geraldine. Uh, but how did you know my last name was Grundy? Um, someone pointed you out to me. You're visiting Riverdale for the weekend, aren't you? Uh, I guess I am. Going to the dance tonight? Sure, I love to dance. Who's that great-looking chick with Sabrina? A new girl visiting for the weekend. Where are you going, Reg? Play without me. I got a new girl to meet. Oh, hi, Sabrina. Why are you being so mean to your new friend by not introducing her to me before this? Geraldine, this is Reggie. Oh, hi, Reggie. Hi. Uh, listen, you want to start off at the top and dance with the best dancer in school? Oh, sure. Reggie, you never cared for dancing that much. 
Don't listen to her. She's jealous. Wow! Look at Reggie Dyons! There, how do you... How do you, uh... How do you like that? Oh, that was great. Uh, this kind of dancing is new to me. Hey, you're really good. Gosh, the new girl showed Reggie up. And he isn't even mad. He's got to be in shock. <laughs> oh, in love. Oh, this is fun. Going to meet the other kids for a picnic? Yeah, it's nice not having to go to school. I like school. In fact, when I grow up, I want to be a teacher. Well, just don't turn out to be like my teacher, Miss Grundy. Oh, my goodness, what a coincidence. That's my last name. Yeah, but you could never be like her. You're too nice. Geraldine and Reggie should be here soon. I wonder where Geraldine came from. Um, just from out of town, I guess. Uh, hi, everybody. Hey, now that we're all here, let's take a hike in the woods before we eat, okay? Goodness, we just got here. I think I might just sit by the lake for a while. It's so pretty. Uh, the, why don't the rest of you go on? Uh, I'll catch up. I have a, uh, I, got, I have a rock in my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> the love birds wanna be alone. Yeah, Reggie sure is hung up on her. I'm gonna go this way. I'll meet you. Uh-oh. I think I'm lost. I'll call Moose. Moose! Hey, Moose! Is that you, Moose? No. Ah, right name, wrong guy. The others are gone. I can forget the stone in the shoe bit and be alone with Geraldine. Yikes! You did that purposely as a practical joke. But I did. Don't speak to me. You're just like the other Grundy. I saw the whole thing, Geraldine. Reggie was innocent. Yeah. Oh, I apologize, Reggie. I guess I was just being human. And I apologize for saying you were just like the other Grundy. She's not human. Gosh. Reggie didn't learn a thing. And before school starts tomorrow, I'm going to have to change Miss Grundy back. There's Reggie. He sure is going to miss Geraldine. She should be on her way here now. I hate to do this to Reggie, but I have to. My, how the weekend flies! I feel like I just left school Friday. Reggie, I want to talk to you as soon as school is over today. It's a crime she's got the same last name as Geraldine. Young man, about that snowball incident. <clears throat> Miss Grundy speaking. She's never gonna stop about the snowball thing. Uh, you're updating the school records and want to check my full name? Geraldine. G-E-R-A-L-D-I-N-E. -E. She... she has the same first name, too. No, young man. Dilton told me the whole story about the snowball incident the other day. I sincerely owe you an apology, Reggie. I hope you forgive me. I... I guess you were only being human, Miss Grundy. Miss Grundy? Yes, Reggie? Can I have the first dance with you next time there's a school dance? What happened with Miss Grundy? Did she yell at you? 
That's terrible, Sabrina. She's no ogre, you know? Sometimes, being a witch is very confusing.